Okay, this is this is gonna warm up. We're gonna have this thing ready to go. We'll print out some teeth in a few minutes. Uh, but while I'm waiting, I think you know what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go spy on Dr. Mark. I know he's he's working on something. Let's go take a look and see what he's doing. Come on. Yo, Mark. Yo. How we doing? Good. Just designing a crown for somebody here. So. So, Mark, can you pull that out in the hallway a little bit? Are you able to do that or is it all? Yeah. So we're here with uh, Dr. Mark Lubitz. And uh, what, what Mark does is amazing. He uses technology to help his patients get their teeth fixed in one visit where normally it would be two visits. So typically it's, what is it, crowns and onlays? Crowns right? and onlays mostly, yep. And there's only one appointment. The patient doesn't have to come back. They don't have to wear a temporary for a couple of weeks. Right. They don't have to be anesthetized twice, so it's like it's a big thing for a lot of patients, especially yeah, they, if they have a busy work schedule. Yeah, so. especially this time of year, everyone's busy. They're running around, trying to get things done before the end of the year. So, like what what Mark does is really amazing, really helpful for a lot of people. So, having being able to do a crown in one visit is really cool, uh, and the technology that he uses allows us to do that. So, yeah. let's see what you do. So, anyway, she had a failing crown on this back tooth here. Okay, she had decay under the. With the crown and the tooth meet. But the crown actually had a nice fit and a nice bite. So what I did is I'm actually making a copy of her existing crown. So I took an image of her crown before I even started. What do you do that with? How does that work? We use it's like a it's not a laser, but it's similar to a laser and it okay. takes a actual takes a 3D photo using light. Okay. So before we do anything, we just scan her pre-existing condition. And if the, if the tooth is in decent shape and just a little problem around the margin of the crown, we can use the basic anatomy okay. and copy that. That's awesome. All right, so you're, you're basically making a duplicate, of a, a virtual duplicate of the person's crown or right. tooth. And then what happens after this is done? So when this is done, then you send it off to the mill. You go to your next step, and this gives you what's called a mill preview. And the crown is actually made out of a solid block of porcelain or other materials we use depending on the strength characteristics we need. And these blocks come in all different colors so you can match it to the patient's existing color. Um, basically that's it. And then this gets sent off to the milling machine. I'll put that block in the milling machine and it's going to cut an exact duplicate. Okay, right. see all right, so we're going to see that. Yeah, right? I'm going to send so this to the mill right what now. we're going to be doing right now is we're going to take uh, Dr. Mark's design of this new crown, he's going to send it off to the mill. Uh, the mill is, is, uh, is what it is, it's just exactly what it sounds like. It's a machine that takes a block of porcelain and mills out the exact uh, copy of the crown that he has designed. And once that's completed, uh, there's a polishing phase I think that goes through it, right? Mm -hmm. Polishing, uh, staining, uh, glazing, and then into the person's mouth. And usually you're doing this, Mark, how long does it take? Start to uh, an hour and a half to two hours. Okay, hour and a half, two hours, done. So, next time you see us, it's going to be by the mill. Yep. Block, and this block goes in like so. Screw this in. Tighten it up. These are the little cutting burrs that go in there. Put that in, close that down. You hit start. And basically now this is getting the information from the computer software. It's going to tell it the shape and the size of what you're making, and it's going to do an exact copy of what, what I just showed you on the computer screen. How long is this going to take, Mark? Um, this one's probably going to be about 20 minutes. It pops up on the screen. It'll t it'll give you a time, like how long it takes to do it. Average is about 20 minutes. So. Is that enough time to get a bagel? Yes, bagel and coffee. That's why I love this machine. <laughs>